So this is an indoor installment of what's happening around here. These are um, some little chili peppers that I had found some seeds and I threw them into this nurse spot. Um, in this nurse spot I also have some sweet potato nubs. There's some growing there. These are nubs from like when I, when I cook a sweet potato. I cut off the tips and I toss, you know, I just put them in here to root. I think these are, this one feels very soft, so I'm just going to chuck it. But the others are still firm. This one's actually growing. Um, and this over here, it's the other nurse pot. This, this sweet potato is taken off, and, um, these little things here with this sort of curly Q seedling. Let me lift this ant on my finger. This is pomegranates. Some of the pomegranates that I that I threw in there. So they have germinated. And uh, I think there's some basil in here. Yeah, this is like basil. I don't even remember hardly doing that. <laughs> anyway, and then of course, yeah, this this sweet potato still feels firm, so I'll leave that in there. This one, of course, is growing, which is good. This, by the way, is a croton. It's a type of croton. I've had it for like three years, and it's just not. I don't know. Just I never have a lot of luck with crotons. <clears throat> this is a Diefenbachia. Um, I do not remember the common name. <clears throat> um, but um, it's a plant that if you, for whatever stupid accident or accidental reason you happen to put some on your mouth, it causes your tongue to swell or something like that. and It's, it's a horrible thing. Um, so don't eat it. <laughs> Meanwhile, journey in the window. Um, this one is kind of dirty. Sorry about that. I bought some lemongrass in the Asian market and I put it to root. I think this was like maybe three days ago. So nothing yet. Yeah, Jeremy's got to check that out. <clears throat> and my uh, pineapple, which I think I said I was going to plant the last time I made a houseplant video. Still in the water. Still making good roots. But, um, you know, before, I, the, the crown had um, disintegrated but now the crown reestablished itself, which is very good. So, um, I totally have to plant this poor thing in some soil. And one of my little orchids is making a flower. So, fantastic. Over here I have a trap. I was watching, oh, it's bone dry. I was watching a couple of videos, actually several videos, and people say, oh, you got to put some sugar with a cotton ball and some, some borax. Borax is a thing. If you, well, I'm sorry, this is for ants. It's an ant trap. And you're supposed to um, put it someplace where the ants will get it. I think probably... I was supposed to I was supposed to put a hole or cover it and put a hole in the top. But uh, I figured I'd just leave it open like this. Maybe I'll catch more ants, but um anyway, they got dry, so maybe that's why they haven't been eating it, but they don't really seem to be interested in it. I mean I get ants all over my table. Um because every year I might take plants outside and bring them in and then the ants 
colonize the containers. And then I think now they're actually colonizing the um the stripping along the window, which is horrible. So um I'm hoping that I can get a uh, consistent with this uh ant trap thing so that I can work and I can get rid of the ants because it's a very bad problem. Um <coughs> Look at all my eggs. My two was a mess. This is two chickens worth, and I think that actually one of them is only one of them is this is the only one that's laying eggs. I don't know. They're they're old. But one of them, you know, um in the springtime chickens they kinda I guess they start feeling like spring chickens again. <clears throat> and they start laying eggs, you know, like every day practically you'll get an egg from a chicken. That's if they, you know, they still have it in them. I think the white one is the one that's not laying eggs. Um, because her butt's dirty. And it's like, well, if the, the eggs are clean and if her butt's dirty, the eggs will come out kind of gunky with poop, so they're not. They're very clean, so it's gotta be the brown hen. So anyway, um, but, you know, she's just laying eggs just every day. My son closes the coop at night, and every every night he brings, a, brings home an egg, so very excited about that. Let me pull this out. I just love the look of that. Um, and if you're wondering, um, keeping eggs at room temperature, as long as you never wash them, it's really the way to go. Um, because when the chicken lays her egg, um, as it's coming out, it's being coated with a protective layer, which is not exactly waterproof, but it, um, it is sort of... Um, I guess I want to say airproof or whatever. I mean, the egg is still air permeable and water permeable, but um, it limits it limits all that, and it also just preserves the egg. So this egg in here could potentially last up to six months, unrefrigerated, just sitting on the table or whatever at room temperature. <clears throat> Obviously, you don't want it too warm, but if you keep your house at a reasonable temperature, these eggs could stay out forever. Not forever, but you know, several months. Um, I usually maybe wait about a month. You know, I'll collect the I'll collect the eggs and then when the basket gets full, then I put them away and then I go go through it again, fill it up and then put them away as we eat them and whatever. Um, so anyway. Um so yeah, that's just a little tip about uh, keeping your eggs. So nothing to fear about keeping your eggs at room temperature. Um, anyway, I think that's it for now. I'm, I'm going to go outside. But I'm going to just make this be one video. <sighs> I'm seeing something I'm not liking. Can you see that? It's a weevil. I think it came out of one of my beans. My bag of like saved beans. I don't know where these things are coming from now. Because I thought I got rid of all these things. It's so annoying. Alright. Closing out with this.